my blade I will. that they felt. Do you understand now? Your ugliness. Hello everyone, welcome back, we're doing great. As you saw, I decided to just use the help. Um, I did fight it for a bit and um, got close a couple of times. Um, in that attempt, actually, that I show, you don't get to see a lot of the fa second phase of the fight. It's a lot of like the guy turning into a snake and attacking you. And you just have to dodge. Uh, it's like big, big attacks. Mm -hmm. But yeah, what was I gonna say? Overall, probably the best fight in the game. That doesn't really say much because the game is garbage. But if you compare it to the Elden Ring base game, it's not far off the uh, big remembrance fights in Elden Ring base game actually. Uh, it's just such a shame that the rest of the game is so garbage that I just don't have any uh, any motivation to spend my free time playing like mastering this DLC. It's a really big shame because if the DLC was actually good this would have been a pretty, pretty fun experience, I think. Uh, but, it is what it is. Shit game is shit game. Gotta move on. Hopefully the developers will learn from this. They probably won't, but, you yeah, know, hopefully they will. Uh, the power of a malevolent snake written within Mesmer and his very mother plucked out. And so his very mother plucked out his eye and put it in its place, a seal of grace. Yet having done so, her fear compelled her to secrete away her child within the realm of shadow. Hidden away, keeping company with the original sin and a hatred that would not be confined. Yeah, okay, so I speculated a long time ago that Mesmer kind of deviated from his faith or his loyalty to his mom in a sense. 
Uh, not sure if he completely did that, but there was definitely a sense of hate or dissatisfaction with, uh, with what she did. So it's kind of right there, I think. And I think the last part of the cutscene also uh, suggests that. Even the part where he pulls the eye out, or the seal, and uh, apologizes. Burn the ceiling tree, said to be found on all. Okay. Mesmer, much like his younger sister, bore a vision of fire. Ah, well, let's uh, go see what the weapon is. I seriously think, or I suspect it's gonna be his spear. And an attack. I don't know which, I mean, f spell. I don't know what spell it will be, but... Uh, a fire spell, nonetheless. Do we get... Oh, yeah, we got some cool... Although those pants are horrible. We'll check that out later. And uh, I'm right. Okay. Great Spear. Mesmer's Assault. Spear of the Serpent. Fate 18, Dex 35. Weapon of Mesmer the Impaler. A great spear with a warped blade in the shape of undulating flame. Remade by the forging arts of the Realm of Shadow, this weapon can be thrown by executing a strong attack. Okay, dashing strong attack or mounting strong attack. Charge the attack to produce flame on impact. Mesmer's, Mesmer's Assault. A, a fierce success succession of attacks using a flame-coated spear tip. Repeated inputs allow for up to two follow-up attacks. The final move thrusts the spear into the ground, causing countless spears to form in the surrounding area. Incantation 60... Faith. Shapes Mesmer's flame into a giant orb that soars at foe. Summons Mesmer's flame to form a giant floating orb. The orb soars towards the foe, crashing into the earth and explodes after a brief delay. Charging enhances potency. That's a really cool artwork, actually. Uh, Mesmer despi despised his own fire. Time and again, time again, he hoped to rid himself of it, but he ever did it burn. Oh, I don't think this is a difficult choice. However, the stat requirements are completely different. But we can give it a shot. We can try. How many of those uh, thingies do we have to change our? Builds. Ah, many. We can give it a shot if you want to. Black Greaves of Mesmer the Impaler. On his mother's wishes, Mesmer made himself a symbol of fear, undertaking the cleanse cleansing crusade she desired. Direct thy malediction, thine ire, and thy grief towards me alone. Black Helm of Mesmer the Impaler, crowned with two intertwined winged serpents. Slightly enhances incantation of Mesmer's flame as well as Fire Knight skills. The winged snakes were Mesmer's constant companions. They were there when the base serpent was sealed away behind his eye. They were there through the, his eternity of suffering. They will accompany him yet in his hideous new form, born with the destroyed the grace granted by his mother. When he born when he destroyed the grace granted by his mother. They've accepted his fate as much as he has. I wish the game would just do a better job of telling more, telling us more about Mesmer. He's weak to magic and holy. Sure. That is, uh... Yeah, that's so bad looking. I'm not even gonna look at the rest of the set, it's just off. I guess we can wear this, why not? Um, right, the weapon. Great Spear. I never really got to try this weapon. Kind of forgot, to be honest. Ok, 
Okay. Dexterity and faith. So faith we can solve easily. Just for the purpose of testing. Dexterity on the other hand. 26. 35. That is a lot. One. And if you put on a piece of headgear, maybe that has some dexterity. Maybe use this for more strength. But, oh. Hmm. Am I missing the one with? That gives dex? I think I might be. That's enough, right? Damn it, I need one more. I think I have I think I have something that gives me slightly more dexterity, right? Just not keeping track of this. This one then. Okay. It's not bad, but traditionally speaking, these long attacks, they just make you get hit. Like, that's the problem. These are pretty cool, but you just get hit. Unless, like, they're only the best for people that have practiced the fight so much that they know exactly the window they have to punish. It's not really suitable for a blind playthrough. The one hit, like, one big hit Ashes of War, just better. I haven't really followed this rule in a while, so let's just do this. So that's neat. All right, it's time to move on. <clears throat> Been uh, looking forward to the end of this for a while, as I think a lot of people have uh, interpreted it from all my comments. This place does look very good, though. Because it has color like the rest of the game, the base game. Alright, let's burn this little bush over here. Remove those thorns and... How do I know? It's been the theme of the entire game series.
That's pretty cool. But what, something that would be cooler, instead of the fire spreading through the roots... Uh, I'll explain for a second. Instead of fire spreading through roots, it would have been cooler if the fire spread from the from the branches of that tree to the middle of the roots that were on the uh, on the wall. Because, like, from the camera angle, you could see that the tree was like covering the center part of the uh, the structure here. So it'd be funny if it spread from there, even though it physically is impossible, but as an optical illusion, I think that would be funny. Not funnier, but more artistic. Enir Ilim. Where is it? Where were they supposed to lead? These stairs. Oh, you bastard. I have to deal with one of these turds again. I need to go spend the money, by the way. This is lame to have to come and... Uh... I think I'm just gonna try to skip as much as possible here. If all we have are these turds uh, swinging their little... Uh, adult toys around them. I don't think this is going to be enjoyable. Oh! That's a big deal. Dude, what? I can't... I can't leave this place? Now I can leave. Let's go spend the money. Not because I need it, because if it comes to a point where actually, you know what, let's upgrade the uh, Mesmer Spear. I suppose we can upgrade this thing too. Maybe we can try like a jumping bleed build with strength as well. I think this one is Argos Twin Blade. Hold on, I had to fix my headset. It's not really. This one requires more dex. But... Fleeting microchasm cosm conjures an image of a microchasm microcosm at a foe's feet that pulses with a single wave before disappearing in the burst, charging enhances, enhances potency. 
The Broken and the Scarred are fully willing to cling to fleeting simulacra, earning them some medicum, modicum of sympathy. idea what I just bought but whatever <laughs> right so we're doing okay here uh, can we spank this guy without having to actually fight him is that possible literally right run into a turd right away Actually, extra angry, even that's fun. Stupid bird. Trying to see if I can break this guy's poise. It's not like their armor is that good. Or maybe it is actually. They just have a lot of poise. I seem to remember that the twin blade one, not the bird version, but the horned version, broke its poise relatively. Absolute turd. <laughs> 